We're here to preview the 2018 Cannon County High School football season, which will be, of course, kicking off on August 17th. I'm here with first year head coach Matt Daniel. Coach, uh, good to be with you here today. And uh, the last time I talked to you, you were just <laughs> fresh on the job and uh, just kind of got here in kind of a whirlwind. Talk about what it's been like in these last few months and uh, this being your first head coaching job, what, what what has the experience been like so far? So far it's been great. We have a core group of kids that have just bought in and worked in their tail off in the summer uh, for the thir first th three weeks of June, just coming out get acclimated to how we do things. And then our July practices have just been an, uh, a boost since then as well. I'm just really happy the buy-in from these kids that we've had so far. How good does it feel for you to be able to come home to coach the alma mater to be back here in Cannon County? It feels awesome. This is great. Coming home and being around people that I haven't seen for a long time and getting to coach people that I, their kids that I played with in some cases. That what, what a dream come true that is. And see the success that we've had a little bit throwing in the 707 and just seeing how people have grown so much this summer in the weight room, on the football field, and um, hopefully one of these days in life. So, Talk about some of the head coaches you've worked with and some of the things, philosophies, ideas, things like that that you've been able to take from them that you're going to incorporate into your head coaching style. From day one, from right here in Cannon County, from Doug Nickerson all the way to my last head coach, uh, Chad Frazier, uh, organization is everything. Uh, just being organized from minute one to minute whatever we get done with. And uh, that, that's the biggest thing that I've taken away with, with is just being organized and uh, having a plan for everybody. And that is the most probably difficult thing to do is for everybody to be doing something at the same time efficiently and effectively. But I feel like it's important. Coming in, I know Cannon County's had their struggles in recent years on the football field. You're aware of that and, and folks that follow high school football in the region. Talk about the mindset and trying to reverse that, trying to, to bring the positivity in that you're going to need to help turn this program around. I think you have to take that one game at a time. And so our, our first opponent's August 17th against Red Bull in Springs. I think we have to look at that and game plan starts in a couple of weeks for that. And you just take it one game at a time. The most important game in our schedule is the next game. Mm -hmm. uh, we kept looking too far ahead. We, we went trip up or something like that. So let's focus on one game at a time. That's what I tell my players right now. If you ask them, they probably say the same thing. Hey, we're going to focus on one thing at a time. And that first game's it. And uh, we're going to game plan against Huntland and uh, White County, of course. But uh, our first game on August 17th, you know, that's that's our next. That's what we're focusing on right now. Coach, let's talk a little bit about the players. Uh, you got several players, of course, that have come back to the football program, but uh, players are, we're going to see that's going to stand out on the football field on Friday nights. Well, you may have heard about the, the Civil Bowl tournament. We had a lot of guys just step up. Reese Smith, who had come off a knee injury in the role of quarterback, did a phenomenal job. Brady Cunningham, a rising junior, had some great catches. Court Litchford, a senior that we tried and true. Court played both ways nearly all day. Brady played both ways all day. But some guys that you may have not heard of, some up-and-comers, some uh, Nick Phillips, who stepped in and played a little bit of receiver for us. Dylan Taylor stepped in and played a little running back for us. Those are our up-and-comer kind of guys. And uh, uh, Lucas Clark, you talked to a few minutes ago. Uh, he was on defense for us the entire time. Uh, Let's see, Connor was a big part of that as well, fighting through a little bit of a groin strain, but fought through it against that. I mean, you, you go there and we we faced teams with tw double, triple the amount of players that we had that day. Right. And we, we were able to find a way because our guys knew that we had our thing, our plays down and we just execute. I mean, we just went out there and tried to execute every time that we went on, on offense. Our defense kept us in games. Uh, it was a tight one against the cab. Yeah. Really, really tight. Um, I mean, those guys look really good across from us. So uh, for us to come away with a win against the cab, that was huge for us. But it, um, it, it was just an opportunity for our guys to compete. And I, I said that a long time ago. We can just compete with the guys in front of us. Don't worry about anything else. Just compete with the guys in front of you. Let's talk about some strengths and weaknesses of the team right now. I, I know numbers has got to be one thing that you're looking at and you hope to build on that in the future. But things when you see this team right now, what, what are they doing well? What still needs some work at this point? Right now, uh, I feel like on offense, and I think Coach Atwood would say the same thing on defense, is just being comfortable on the field. Um, knowing what to do. Any coach will tell you in America that knowing what to do is half the battle when you're on the field. So I think our, our comfort level is good. Now, execution level, we've got to work on that. Execution right. uh, will probably be something I harp on. If we talk in the future, I'll be talking about execution from now until uh, November, whenever we end this thing. So, uh, um, ex uh, so positive things. We are getting comfortable, mm -hmm. and the um, things we got to work on probably execution. Let, let's talk about when you hit the field officially for the first time on August 17th. Red Bull comes to town. What 
is the one thing you really want to see from this team the first time they hit the field for the season? I just want them to come out and compete and understand that we, no matter who we play, come out and do your job. Um, if you're doing your job, one of the 11 people out there doing it, mm -hmm. then we have a much better chance of being successful. If we're worried about how they look, how they do things, and uh, we're not comfortable when we come to their formations on defense, we're not comfortable when they make adjustments on defense, then we're not going to play as well. Right. And uh, our, our comfort level has to be, all right, that's fine. On offense, we don't care what you line up in. and it, it, we, we, can, we can make adjustments to that to be successful. So. This community has been great to support all sports programs really over the years. I know that's something you've experienced as a player. People come out on Friday night, the tailgating is fantastic. This community really rallies around the football team and, and I know you've had to see that already since your time back here in Woodbury. It's it's awesome. I mean, they already talked about the tailgating and things like that. We want to keep doing that. It's become a tradition. Uh, we want people to for this to think to be this the thing to be on Friday nights and get yep. that out there. And uh, for for them to come out and have a good time. And for us to compete, I mean, I think that's all I've heard is, Coach, we want to be a comp competitors. Right. We want to compete against other people. And I'll, hey, I'm all for it because that's how we get better is when we compete. Well, Coach, we're looking forward to the season. Of course, you can see Cannon County. We'll have them three times during the course of the season against Red Bowling, against DeKalb, and against Grundy. Of course, come out to the uh, Friday Night Lights. We try to emphasize that a lot. Come out and support these kids because uh, they work hard, uh, not just on Friday night, but in preparation for the season. Coach, we're really looking forward to the season. Oh, thank you, guys. All right, our Cannon County football preview with head coach Matt Daniel. For DTC Sports, I'm Tom Duggan.